Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, SG. What's going on? Guys, uh, I've got a video for you today for Red Dead Online and this is for the Bounty, uh, Bounty Hunter role. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to really maximize your profits when doing the Bounty Hunter role, as in money, XP and gold. And uh, we will get into that. Um, for you guys who has, haven't seen the introduction cutscene, I'm going to let you watch it. Uh, I'm going to watch it also, obviously, uh, but once this cutscene's out of the way, we can, we can get right into the video. If you've seen it already, just skip forward about 2-3 minutes, and then we will we will crack on with the video. But for you who haven't seen it, just check out this cutscene. The uh, woman who introduces you to the Bounty Hunter license is an absolute beast. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's check it out, guys. She's an absolute go. beast, this woman. Let, let me know down below, guys, what you guys think of the update. Give, give me a rating out of 10. So far from what I've seen, you know, I want to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And I believe we're going to get a lot more stuff through the drip feed. <laughs> He's hiding behind the barrel. That's I'm, oh, damn. There's your tip. Okay. Okay, that's that's interesting. If it ain't all here, I will be back. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Just see his hands poking up behind the barrel. <laughs> That is, that is awesome. Fifteen gold bars. Let's get it. So, bounty hunter. I've always wanted to be a bounty hunter in this game when it, it got announced. I couldn't wait to do it. Nice. And we can own that wagon, guys. Level 10 of the Bounty Hunter, you can then purchase that, that armoured wagon to get multiple, multiple, uh, uh, you know, bounties, pretty much. Just put a load in your wagon, deliver them for, a, for more of a hefty fee. Let's head to the billboard, guys, for the Bounty Hunter rolls. So here we go, guys. We have three here. There's one person. Uh, some of them, guys, you allow, you can collect two people. You can do it solo. It's still really easy. Um, but this is what I mean by maximizing your profits. If you're, you know, if you're in a posse and you're doing it with friends, you're gonna earn more money. Um, the game actually tells you that you're gonna be earning more money by just being with friends, uh, being with your posse, and doing it together, and you will earn. Uh, a bit more money, a bit more XP and a bit more gold um, but that wasn't just the money maximizing your profit method I was on about we will we will get to that I just um, unlocked some stuff for the rank 1 of the uh, outlaw pass so what do we have here, so ok so you rank up by the top category and then it unlocks everything below so I have two so I will buy that reinforced lasso that will stop the bounty hunters from trying to escape while you have them hogtied on your horse or yeah or wagon I suppose that outfit is pretty cool if you if you get that outfit guys you can actually get it in uh, multiple different colors so it's a pretty cool outfit um, I can't wait to unlock these. I really, really can't. They look insane, and they also look customizable, which is insane. And I, I really can't wait to get them. Uh, the gloves, yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think I've. I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get all of it, pretty much. I want every everything, especially now. I've got the outlaw pass as well. You know, that's 
got it. There's so much to unlock in the Outlaw Pass. It didn't seem really worth it at first, but now it's released and we can see everything there is to offer. I'm, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for the Outlaw Pass. I would recommend it. You just need to put the time in in the game to really get everything out of the Outlaw Pass. So guys, you can do these solo. The money is is good. XP is good and the gold is good. If you're with a posse, a threat or just one friend, join you know, join a posse with just you and your one friend, two friends. I actually did it with uh two friends and we actually got a bit more money XP, but you can really really maximize your profits by doing a simple step and we will get into that right away guys. But yeah, again, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this update so far. We've still got a lot to learn. There's a lot of drip feed coming. And it's going to get exciting. Um, this is me back on the billboard, guys. I'm actually with my posse now. Shout out to them, Mad Hatter and Ice Pick. Shout out to you guys. And we're going to go ahead and give this a go. And the money method for this, guys, is to really maximize your profits is by doing the mission and it, it actually works the same as stranger missions when you've collected the bounties guys what you want to do is you want to get your bounty and stay at, stand outside the police station until the last one minute or 30 seconds let the timer go to red see as you see at the top there guys we've got the timer when that goes red it'll go red on the last 30 seconds when it goes red, you've pretty much got everything out of the mission you possibly can. Then deliver your bounty, and that will give you more money, more gold, and XP. And I have, from a guess, I got around 25 to 30 dollars per per bounty hunt I I done by waiting to the last 30 seconds. It can be boring just waiting there, but what we did, because we was in a posse as well. Um, two of us wanted to you know while we're waiting for the timer to go down we wait you know one of us waited with the body two of us went out and hunted animals to stack up for our trader so that way we're getting you know while you're in the mission of bounty hunting you're also preparing for getting yourself prepared for the trader so you you know once the mission's over you can run to your trader hand in the materials you know and you're just you're benefiting you know your business as while in a bounty mission it's a very good method guys I would highly recommend it and these missions are really easy um, the bounty hunter world is very straightforward there's not too much to it and you can do the missions either stealth I've done I've done one stealth it was pretty fun actually I just used my bow and arrow um, done it stealth and uh, or you can just go loud, just go in, kill them all, make sure you don't kill the bounties, um, and then return them to to the uh, police station wherever you have to have to go in game. And obviously, if you keep your bounty alive, you get that bit more money. So that's what I would recommend to do. Dead, if they're dead, you you know you're still fine. Still, you can still hand them in. Uh, you just get a little bit less less pay. But that's how you maximize your profits guys you know just wait till the last 30 seconds in this video i didn't wait till the last 30 seconds it weren't till um just after i did this uh recording that i realized you can actually earn more money by waiting to the last minute or 30 seconds of the mission and yeah it just acts exactly the same as stranger missions we all know now that you know if you wait down to the last 30 seconds you're going to earn a whole lot more money the longer you're in the missions the more you get paid you know it just works the same as gta the longer you're in the missions the more you get paid um but i'm going to show you something else guys that um it actually i didn't really there's so much to this update it makes you forget about the things from before the update and they are still important and I'm going to show you that right now. I'm just going to deliver this bounty and and get paid. So right now I'm going to earn you know good money. But if I wait until the last 30 seconds, I'm going to earn you know a nice bit more. So test it yourself, guys. It works. It works exactly the same as Stranger Missions. Um, 
there is like the odd mission, bounty hunter mission where, you know, you'll you'll wait to last thirty seconds, but you'll get fifteen dollars or something. Um, but if you if you delivered it with four minutes left on the clock, you would have probably got less than fifteen dollars. You know, that's that's the way it works. It works exactly the same as GTA. So we've delivered that, guys. We are done with the mission. Um, you know, take the money method into account. It is very beneficial. And I'm also going to show you this, guys. If you go to pr your progress on your pause menu, guys, and go to awards, this, you know, there are now new bounty hunter, trader, and collector roles for rewards. So if we click on bounty hunter, there you go guys, reach rank 20 in Bounty Hunter, that will get you the uh, Buckle Award, 500 XP and um, I believe gold, yeah gold, uh, turn in Bounty Hunters, uh, turn in uh, Bounty Hunters, dead bounty, uh, Alive Bounty Hunters and Dead Bounty Hunters, there are rewards for each of those, so that's also going to get you more XP and gold. Turn in a legendary bounty hunter uh, target. Uh, I'm not sure how we get that. I believe that could be coming in a drip feed in the next few weeks. Um, but that is just, you know, you just got to do one and you get the golden buckle award, which is a lot of XP and gold. Same with this one, guys. Uh, fire, there is one for a five star. And turn in bounty target in every town. Like every, there's bounty hunters posters all around town you just got to do it in every single town guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new thanks for your time and i'll catch you guys in the next video